Expo. It's a beautiful, very enlightening health and wellness expo that is healing a lot, a lot of people. This day, they've been here from Friday, October 15th to the 17th, and you really must catch this very spectacular expo. New, New Life Expo. and this is interesting ways of healing. We're here today with Chona from Honors Haven. It's a resort and spa. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice Thank to you. meet you, everybody. Nice to meet you, too. And Chona is going to tell us about some interesting ways of healing your mind, body, and soul. Hi, nice to meet you, everybody. I'm Chun. I lead the workshops about your three bodies, a physical body, energy body, and your spiritual body, or core body, whatever you call. So I have a workshop about the finding your true self. It's opening your heart chakra, and the benefit is it improves your health and that you can experience peace in your mind. It's a very experiential. So, so many healers provide a similar. Everything is great, and then what I do is more experiential, so you will really get the tangible tool. So when you go back, you can still practice. So we have uh, the network. So I work on the uh, chakras. So number two chakra can give you the strength. If you need your center in any situation, you can develop your number two chakra. So for your healing uh, practice, you can open your heart chakra. We also have the retreat, nature retreat. So you can feel energy from the nature and you can feel the oneness. So I'll, I hope all of you just to make a two days of free for yourself or one day for yourself from your life and then develop yourself. Thank you so much, everybody. Hey, thank you for that wonderful bit of information. Good evening, this is Stephen Rosley from New York City at the New Life Expo. I'm from Chicago and I brought a few of my gems and crystals, the healing stones, ancient healing stones. As you can see, they come in many colors. The boxes themselves are designed by the different chakras. We start at the root chakra black and red down here at the bottom, and then we move from the root to the navel, which is orange, go to yellow for our solar plexus, there's pink and green for our heart, opens our heart to love. We've got blue for throat, communication. Then the next is the third eye, this is our psychic ability. One of the best stones in existence is this one. It's called ametrine. It's amethyst and citrine together and it opens up your third eye, increases your psychic ability, at the same time protecting your solar plexus, which is where you handle stress. Because it can get be pretty stressful when you open up your psychic ability and start seeing things that you feel that are not really there. Third, the last one is your crown chakra. This is your spiritual center which is ruled by Pedro Fulton, as you can see here. Next to it, I have Rohan, the 18-pound quartz crystal. This is a librarian of knowledge. When you touch it, you receive information. At the same time, 
you're giving it information with the other hand. You should always use two hands when you're touching the skulls. They're record keepers. They build and receive. Huh? Okay, put one hand here, and put the other hand here. You're going to close your eyes and center yourself, so be in a comfortable position. Bring in, take in a nice cleansing breath. Bring in goodness. Exhale, yuck. Now breathe naturally and just feel what goes on in your body. experience. Right. What you have done, life. what you are doing right now is, if you're right-handed, you're receiving information on that side. On this side, you're giving the skull information that somebody else will come here, put their hands on it, they'll receive it. Now, no negativity can get involved because you're on selenite. Oh, this is like a white light chamber. Oh, that's why I saw the light. I saw yeah, the light. That's it. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. There we go. I saw the light. And I see you can channel. What does that mean? That means that everyone can learn how to channel. Everyone can learn how to connect to spirit and get their own healing from spirit, which is very important. Okay. Well, do you ever worry that if everyone could connect by themselves, then they won't need you? Not really, no, because, you know, myself, my friends, we run into rough spots, and then we say to each other, can you channel for me? You know, so sometimes we can't channel all the time for ourselves. Oh, I see. So this is definitely a way that people can heal emotionally. And in uh, what other ways can they heal through your healing uh, gathering? Yes, thanks for asking that because I didn't say that before. It's Well, we bring in healing spirits and then they give energy to people. And we've seen people's back pain go away. We've seen their hearts healed because maybe someone recently died in their life. You know, there's many levels. You know, mentally, sometimes people are a little unfocused and they get more focused. Okay, and uh, these healing spirits, such as um, you mentioned before, St. Matthews, or which is, are they saints? or? Yes, Michael the Archangel, and, you know, so another one is John. He's a part of a huge group of healers. Is that John the Baptist? Um, St. John? No, it's not St. John, but it is John that's connected to another very big healer from Brazil. Oh, so it's a regular John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was John the Baptist, his energy. But because, you know, you mentioned that you um, sort of channel different saint energy as well, like, you know, Michael the Archangel. Are there other spirits that you channel, other saints? Um, not right now. When I Well, I've been a channel since 1986, so I've been around for a long time. And there are beings that I've channeled, like St. Francis of Assisi. He's been really a buddy of mine. And there's been other, you know, buddy, I, I don't say that disrespectfully, but, you know, they've been great in my life. So there are other saints that I have channeled. And then the Divine Mother, Jesus Christ. These are all beings that anyone can channel. I'm not, I'm not really special. We can all do that. And the book will help us in achieving this. Because I'm, you know, now that you're explaining it, it's very interesting. You know, Mother Mary, I have been very close to her, and she has helped me through the years to, uh, to help, you know, to experience better, a better life. So I have always channeled Mother Mary, and she has really guided me, really. So I'm interested to learn that, you know, someone else, you ladies, actually do this, not just me. So I'm not... Uh, <laughs> alone here you could do it at home and the book will show you how so check out the book okay and go to the website can they find the book on the website yeah, buy it here. okay excellent 
<laughs> okay, this is Lady Simone from the New Life Expo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this expo October 2010 at the New York Her Hotel in Manhattan this expo is literally changing lives millions of people are being healed by sound by massage greetings I'm Lady Simone and this is around town TV I'm here with Victoria of light and we are covering the New York Expo interesting ways to heal yourself Victoria of Light, how are you? Oh, I'm wonderful, thank you. And you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you very much. And so this is very interesting, what you do. Are you a healer? Mm. Yes, I think we definitely say a healer. And also, I bring through languages. It's like I deliver languages of light, soul languages, 
light languages and um, other languages of Hebrew and Aramaic and sacred sounds are brought through me and these are this time to awaken people to their hearts and souls. It's all about feeling and sensing and opening up. So is this healing through sound is what I'm hearing? Yeah, that's a, a p absolutely part of it and a large part of it because the sound is vibrational. It has a, an energy and it goes right into the being. And so no matter where the mind is, because at this time many people are so caught up in the thinking and the mind, which does lessen the experience, it's, this is a direct entry, so to speak, into your your physical temple and opens up your heart and your soul to love and light. And so in that Ultimately, healing is through light and love and so through vibration of sound, it brings us about. Mm -hmm. um, can you break that down to people who might not understand how they can be healed through sound? Um, if you're experiencing pain in your body or your mind, mental health is important to a lot of people. How can healing through sound, how can that really help someone? So through sound, it brings you to a place, a centered place, and that is to your own self. So at this time, it is the time to reconnect with who we are ourselves and to love ourselves. And through the love of thy own self, then it is that all can be healed. And the love of thy own self, it is like we reconnect with who we are, and it's the God self and God and faith. And then it opens up. But I can certainly do a little energetic sound and, and a message which can help people to feel because they will feel this. We would like that. Yeah, you would like that. Okay. Yeah. So at this time, I will just yeah, bring a message through. And it will be a message for all of you, all of those who, who watch this, who hear this. And, yeah, and may you be ones, it, I'm sure you will, that you can hear and you can see and be touched by this energy at this time and it will open you up into who you are and with this is more healing so I've known you up to love and light Bresha Glesin mani glina shim brokla sedile shakrina kan Bresha para shina presha rara sedile khinere Bresha le dizi sekre shimra krin brokla marakla sira bani shina bani na rakle sedile shiri shin glesha prena ha urish bresha shiri I felt it. I felt the energy, and I hope that you did too. Lady Simone from around town. Thank you so much, Victoria. Hi, I'm here with Angelic Mohammed, and she publishes. Did you publish the book yourself? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so she is the writer and publisher of a book called From Allah's Hands to My Womb. So what inspired you to write the book and to whom are you speaking? Um, actually, I'm speaking to everybody. When I talk about From Allah's Hands to My Womb, I'm just talking about from God's hands to our womb, about taking care of our children, our future, and making a better place for them. Um, the book was inspired because of the incident that I went through with sexually abuse situation with the father of my child and how it affected me and how I had to go back and reevaluate myself and forgive, let go, and move on. And actually, so now I'm, I do counseling. I'm a counselor. And I do inspirational speaking where I go around and teach people about resolving emotional conflict. And actually, that's one of those workshops that's in my book. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Ooh, yeah. Baby. Mm. Greetings, I'm Lady Simone, and we are still here today at the New Life Expo. And I found a product that I know that many, many, many of you actually need. Here to tell you all about it is Shanice. Is that the correct way I yes. pronounce your name? My name is Shanaz Masatap. Okay, and Shanaz, um, what is the product, this revolutionary new product? Could you tell us a little bit about it? Show us the box. 
This product comes in a black bag. In each black bag is three, three, three bags, and in each, each of these bags has two times. You can use it twice. And what you do, you make a half of this product, mm -hmm. put it in a bowl, and mix it with warm water in a sink and make it pasty, like a okay. thick yogurt. Right. And then you, you wet your hair, apply to your hair, your scalp, about an hour. And Should we shampoo first? No. You have to just wet it. You wet it, you apply the application. After that, leave it an hour and then rinse it all. It, you have to rinse it a lot to get the leaves out because it's all organic leaves. And then the next day, you shampoo and conditioner and you style. Oh, excellent. So is, is it then a conditioner mostly? This is make your hair to grow. How it does they make the hair grow? Why this works? Because first of all, it's nothing like that 100% organic because you mix it with water and it's 100% organic leaves. How it works systematically goes from your bulb of your hair to your system. It makes it, it, makes, it gets you to deep down to your body. And what happens when you eat any good food like nuts and all the ingredients, which is all natural and healthy, it stays in your body. It wouldn't get wasted. The reason most of the people, they lose hair because, especially when they are young, is not because of lack of anything, a lack of hormone or a stress or malnutrition. This product takes care of all those problems and make your hair grow. Excellent. It sounds really, really good so far. Now, tell me a little bit about, do you use the product? Yes. yes. Okay, excellent. I am 65 years old. Doesn't she look good? And I use the product. I have to show you, in my age, if you put your hand through the, and it gets a lots of hair losing. And when I put my hair, I pull my hair that much. When I hold my hand, it, that one hair comes out. The reason it doesn't come out, because it strength your hair. Any hair you have right away, it makes it strong. And then after it strength, it strength the hair, it produce the bulbs for you, extra bulbs, like the tulips in, when you put. And when you put, feed the tulips, it makes more bulbs in the ground. This is how it does it. You produce the more bulbs in your hair, and that's why it grows more hair for you. Excellent, excellent. And you also have a hair coloring, is that correct? Yes, I have organic coloring. My hair is all natural organic coloring. My gray, you can have your gray any color you want. Is We have five colors. And as you see, my hair in the back is darker. And my gray is I have different color of red. Okay, excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, so much for the interview. I, I look forward to using the product, and hopefully it will help me as well grow long, lustrous hair. Hi, this is Lady Simone, and I'm still here at the New Life Expo in New York City at the New Yorker Hotel. I'm here with these fabulous, fabulous ladies. And this is Phyllis, is it? Phyllis, uh-huh. Okay, and we have the Sunflower Priestess. Hello, so hello. And this is Susan. Yes, the Baby Girl Project. And together they have an amazing story about bringing hope and life to different parts of the country. I'd like to hear a little bit of the story that you, you know, about what you're doing, especially with the Baby Girl Foundation, is it? It's the Baby Girl Project. The Baby Girl Project is focused on providing an education for young girls in uh, developing nations. We are currently working in Kenya with an organization called Free the Children. And we act as a fundraiser for them. And we've built 16 schools in Kenya so far. Excellent, excellent. And why is this gentleman jumping in the back? Is this part of your attraction for the booth? Well, the booth is to promote physical fitness. And he is um, a cone harnessing the energy of the universe in order to demonstrate physical fitness. He's basically been jumping since yesterday afternoon with a little rest last night. <laughs> and this kind of generates like a happy feeling. It does. And it cleanses the lymph system. And it's very, very um, positive experience. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Susan. Okay. And over here, we have a very interesting story. I told you this was going to be interesting as we cover interesting ways of healing. And we have the Sunflower Priestess, and we all want to know what she is about. What do you do? Well, 
I'm just laughing, but this is a Sunflower Priestess and Company that will do all the service for the humanity. Oh, and I'm going to pass it on to her. When she can. And you, you said something about a laughing. Yes. What's that about? Uh, you, she, she is uh, a laughter guru, literally, and uh, she just brings joy with laughter cause, because laughter, if you laugh, you heal. It just changes the spirit. Okay, excellent. And we have some t-shirts over here. What are these about? Uh, the t-shirts are Rising Phoenix and they go to um, baby girls. The proceeds goes to baby girls and the... Um, the um, a nonprofit that I have is called Joyful Orange, and we work with trafficked children and sexually exploited children around the world. So we would like to especially bring awareness to the problem, because if, if people know what's going on, they won't stand for it. So that's what we're about. Okay, it seems that you're just about so much empowering the people and letting them know enlightenment. And what started you on this course? And who started the, the course? Well, you know, uh, we're, we're a part of a group that, that totally believes in service, and especially service to children. And that really is what brought us together, I think. We're, uh, we're from Denver. We're, we've got Virginia people here, New York people, L.A. people. And, and really, you know, the cause is, is our cause is from the heart, and especially for children. I see, I see. And this is the Tibetan healing bowl that I'm about to experiment and experience. Uh -huh. She had to find a bowl that was big enough for my head <laughs> because of my hair. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to experience something soon. Chakras. 